Nothing is more powerful as an idea whose time has come. It was Victor Hugo who said those words a long time ago, but when I think about the debate about a National Integrity Commission, they ring true now. Nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. I think in order to restore the faith of Australians in their representatives and our system of democracy, it's time for a National Integrity Commission. It's time for some courage in this parliament. It's a time for some truth in this parliament. It is time for a National Integrity Commission more than ever. I'm proud of the fact that I, as the first leader of either the Liberal or the Labor or the National parties, to publicly endorse a National Integrity Committee in January of 2018. It was time then. Then it was proposed 996 days ago that it was time for an independent and well-resourced Integrity Commission secure from government interference with a broad jurisdiction, effectively a standing royal commission with all of the investigative powers that, that implies. It should have the discretion to hold public hearings. At that point, we suggested one commissioner and two deputies, importantly appointed in a bipartisan process with a majority from both sides of the House. It would have the uh, commissioners appointed for one fixed five-year term. 996 days ago, we suggested it should have the ability to make findings of fact, not law, and where the findings of fact were appropriate, the matter should then be referred to the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions. We said 996 days ago it should report annually to Parliament, overseen by a joint standing committee. It should have the discretion to hold public hearings. It was time 996 days ago to have a National Integrity Commission. It is well past time now. To be fair, Mr Malcolm Turnbull in June of 2018 said he was putting a plan to his cabinet in June of 2018. Indeed, his replacement, Mr Morrison, said in December of 2018 he was going to announce a plan for a Commonwealth Integrity Commission. But nothing has happened. There's a go-slow. If, if workers in any worksite in Australia behaved and the, used the tactics of the go-slow employed by the industrial workforce of the coalition government, they would be taking illegal industrial action by procrastinating. This government has many excuses why it hasn't actually got around in the last 996 days to doing a National Integrity Commission. There is the yeah nah school, the yes no school. Yes, it's a good idea, but no, now is not the right time. Yes, it's a good idea, but no, we don't want it to be like New South Wales. Yes, it's a good idea, but no, we don't like the fact that Labor said it. Yes, it is a good idea, but there's something else on at the moment. They've simply been too busy, they say. But I think that after robo-debt, sports rorts and the leaping land deals of Leppington, <laughs> that the excuses have run out. I actually was disappointed and embarrassed for the government when they said because of the bushfires they couldn't do the National Integrity Commission. I actually think that insults everyone who went through the bushfires. They now say that because of COVID-19, they haven't been able to turn their mind to a National Integrity Commission. Busy building a Every day, Australians have been putting up with this virus, but they've still been going to work, they've still been educating their kids, they've still been living full lives, they've still been coping. But this is a government who apparently the pandemic has infected to the point that they cannot act on a National Integrity Commission. It's embarrassing. Australians want better. The coalition needs to get with the program. They need to be better than the bare minimum of Australian expectations, the low risk, the tyranny of the low risk government. Let's have a National Integrity Commission now. It's a thousand days too late already. Yeah, yeah.